Join me as I take you down to part three of Aid Mubarak. It is the seventh term tournament organized by the Muslim community sponsored by Petken Company in Kibera Udli Green Grounds, initially known as Kalix. Spectators gather together despite age, race and religion to cheer up their favorite teams. This was the final match between Mizuka and Al Safa teams to determine the winner. Both teams seem to be strong hands. They draw 1 1. The first goal of the game was scored by Eto from Mizuka team in the second half and afterwards an equalizer from Albo, jersey number 10 of Al Safa team in a penalty kick. Since there was no winner yet, the teams had to go for penalty shootouts and Mizuka team managed to tap their opponents by a 4-3 lead. Honorable Prime Minister was expected to the occasion, though he did not turn up but managed to send his personal assistant, Mr. Edward Qatar, to represent him. Honorable Secretary for the Sports Ministry of Kenya was present, Mr. Teke Gabriesus, the sponsor of the tournament, and Honorable MP Northeastern Mohammed Ali, too, was present representing the Muslim community. It was a sign of unity as the natives from other parts of the world, too, joined in the closing of the holy month of Ramadan. <laughs> I'm very, very happy that my company to come and uh, join you in this celebration. We are enjoying it very much. And I think football is a wonderful sport. It's popular all over the world. And I'm glad to have a very entertaining evening. Now we are happy that we have sports of this game. I hope you are going to succeed in the future as you have done today. Thank you very much. Kama hawa, 
ili waende waende wanakusimamie katika michezo ya juu kwa hivyo tunafurahi sana na wale ambao wanasimamia michezo kama hii tunawazia kwamba uh, mfanye mpano kama hii tusifuate ile ambayo mapikano ambayo tuna mara inahusika katika mitumbira ya ya ya, ya, ya mguu tunataka kuona mchezo kama huu ambao ni hali ya juu na hiyo katika idara ya katika uh, ministry ya vijana na na, na michezo tunafurahi na tukushukuru hivi tuna identify hawa vijana ambao tunaweza kuelekeza asante sana you're not going to find really, I don't think anywhere else in the world. There's a vibe of optimism and just uh, friendliness and kindness that I happened to have when I, you know, had a little interaction with the locals in Kenya. I'm here this time with friends, but I'm definitely going to go back and I would love to come back very much so to see the rest of Kenya, Western, Eastern, and uh, definitely we're going to come back with them. I have actually a couple of friends with me here now who are very much involved in trying to help out with education. And I have a couple other Israeli friends here. My two friends here are from America, but I have a couple Israeli friends here who do uh, volunteer with their time as far as education with different schools. But um, the more we see, the more we talk about it, the more the word gets spread around, and the more we try to uh, spread the word that help is needed, and that if somebody can come over and help, it's very it's important. And it's, it's, you know. well, the details of what is happening today is the Ramadan Cup tournament which is after the holy month of Ramadan, that we felt as the Langata Constituency Sports Committee that in the constituency, because we have Muslims in the constituency, which, uh, which are minority, that we wanted to be felt like it is after the holy month that we have an activity that is celebrating uh, the after Ramadan the Muslims community within the Langata Constituency. It has been going for the whole month, and the results have been that uh, we had uh, 12 teams, yeah, which uh, it was a tournament for the 12 teams, which we just had, we took four, uh, four non-Muslims and uh, four, uh, seven Muslims for the team, so that to allow that even the non-Muslims to feel part and parcel of what is going uh, on during the whole month. No, this is the seventh edition, with which now the Langata constituency is now taking it head on to show that, to also to be as an example to other constituency and the world at large, that the Muslims, the Muslim community, during the holy month of Ramadan, we can have, have activities that will uh, bring the youths together so that they can avoid the ill motives during the holy month of Ramadan. We are going to give the first winner, uh, we are going to give 15,000, the second uh, 10,000, uh, the third 5,000. And we've also bought for them the uniforms, we've also, we are going to give them food. The winners, we are going to give one uh, 50 kg of rice, 
and second team two and the third team. So we are going to give 150 kgs of rice to the boys and some we also we wanted to buy to give them voucher cards because we felt that if you give them money they are going to misuse. But we also felt that some of them wants to have the money. So that is why we decided to give them money uh, and some food. There was tight security and everything was in place as the best team was awarded 15,000 Kenyan shillings, a trophy, soccer kits and balls. As the runners up were awarded 10,000 shillings, kits and balls. And the third place winners were also awarded 5,000 shillings, kits and balls. Certificates of participation were awarded to best players, the best team and most disciplined team and those who took part in the tournament. The Muslim community finally sealed the tournament with a jubilation team song. <laughs> Kennedy Wando reporting for Kibera TV, Nairobi, Kenya.